stole tens of thousands of dollars by counterfeiting checks from a McDonough car dealership. Police released pictures of five of the seven people involved in the check cashing caper, which targeted Legacy Ford and McDonough, owned by Georgia State Senator Emanuel Jones. Fox 5's George Franco joining us from outside the dealership with that story. And George, what did Mr. Jones say about the theft? Well, Deidre, the owner of Legacy Ford here says that he has no idea how a number of men gathered the information to create a number of counterfeit checks from his business and spend tens of thousands of dollars. I don't really know how it happened or how it all got started. Emmanuel Jones, a state senator who also owns Legacy Ford on Industrial Boulevard, is working with McDonough Police to solve the crimes committed against his business. These checks looked authentic, which is why I bank cashed them. And, uh, of course, uh, they were forged. Police released pictures of these five young men, which were recorded at various store locations in Metro Atlanta after Legacy Ford checks had been deposited in banks and cashed between August and September last year. Police suspect mail theft was involved. These people check out the mailbox or, or check is, uh, is um, intercepted through the mail somehow, um, and then they take that, that checking information and create new checks, forged checks. Major Kyle Helgerson says investigators are trying to identify the five men recorded on surveillance, adding they have identified two other crooks involved whose pictures were not released. We have identified two who we want to remain anonymous or we want to withhold their identity right now. It was uh, probably a few dollars short of $100,000. Mr. Jones says the tens of thousands of dollars stolen from his dealership by these five and two others never compromised any of his customers' information. Certainly it has made us a lot more careful and to try and put a lot more controls in place. And McDonough police also say that despite having the identity of two of the seven men involved in the counterfeiting of the checks here, all remain on the loose. Anyone with any information has to contact the McDonough Police Department.